interviewer. Elton here with Ben. Oops. And, uh, ben, as you can see, he uh, if you maybe have noticed, uh, some of you might have not, but he's got this uh, this new Hyundai. It's a uh, it's a hybrid. I'm not a fan of EVs, as you know, but at least it's a hybrid. It still has a gas engine, just in case. It's a plug-in hybrid, so it's not just a standard hybrid where it's it's gas and electric. It has a larger battery, so it allows you to drive in full electric if you want to. So it's it's the best of both worlds. Before I started recording, I thought I actually putting the zoom in on this, but I'm like, I want to start filming right away because this street actually is one of the reasons why I moved down here too. It's got a lot of spunk. There's a lot of life to it. There's unfortunately a lot of panhandlers and rough people, but it's Montreal. Dude. Whatever, it's Montreal. Now we just crossed Pinot Street. I used to come here a lot. The uh, this is Village de Valeur, or as they call it in the rest of Canada, Value Village. For Savers in the States. I've never heard that. Yeah, Savers. Not Goodwill? And, and, oh, uh, Quasi's got up. Oh, Goodwill yeah. is like Renaissance, I guess, or it's the same. Yeah, anyway, I, I, I couldn't go there anymore because uh, I don't have any money. So, yeah, one day your buddy will get it right and get a job and start buying old magazines again, especially frames. I really miss framing pictures, you know? And, I, you know, this is where the best part you could be when it's a rainy day, either at home or moving in a car. Because it really is, you can see, a crap day. But I always find, like, Van Ben, who's sort of been in photography in a long time, it does add some beauty to things that are wet. The streets are reflecting light and cars are but it's also cleaner. But it's also flat, so if you want some interest in, like, shadows and stuff like that, it's kind of harder to get. And you got this really old car wash here, which have been tagged, not surprisingly. Yeah, it's raining just a little bit. Yeah, unfortunately, this is the part that I started recording where the... Uh, the quality of human beings and definitely the gentrification thing is not happening around here. <laughs> uh, yeah. But there's foliage. There's a lot of foliage. Can you dig it? We're it's moving fine. in an eastward direction towards Veal. You can look at the Olympic Stadium and say, or, well, first you're going to say, maybe we should go up and make a left somewhere and go on a side street, go up to Sherbrooke, and we'll see the, we'll include the stadium because I'm actually still proud of the stadium, even though it costs a goddamn fortune. <laughs> so well, like, all the more reason to keep it around because we paid so much for it, might as well keep it around. <laughs> And actually, you know, we'll put it to use sometime. Something nice. So this is a 2020, you said, eh? Okay, 2020 Hyundai Ionic plug-in hybrid. Ionic. Not, not as uh, not to be confused with the Ionic Five, which is a full electric car. It's this, and that's this the, that, this isn't, that. Isn't that the one that I like? The taillights reminds me of like a Lincoln from the like 70s or something with the straight, the straight like Challenger type thin taillights, and it's wider. I don't think it's that one. Isn't that an Ionic? Well, there's the Ionic Six. That's that sedan one. It's it's very. It looks kind of from the side. It looks kind of like a Mercedes CLS. Has a ducktail kind of spoiler, kind of like an old 911 too. Hey, ducktails! I used to watch that show after school. <laughs> I would always like the, the Ionic Five is like a, it's like a hatchback. It looks kind of like a a, a bigger. Uh, I always thought it looked like a, an old retro Volkswagen Golf, but bigger. It's kind of more like a crossover. Look, I have to admit, as old school as I am, and I love V8 engines, carbureted, you know, as they say, uh, naturally aspirated engines. Look. Ben hasn't spent a nickel on gas. <laughs> He's had this thing over a month. I've had over a month and I used a quarter tank of gas. Quarter tank, so sorry. I've mostly been using it in an electric mode to go to work. Mostly I'm using very electric. Close to my work. And he says the charging isn't a lot. And another advantage I have to admit about, as I was talking about the other day, about electric cars, is, yeah, I have to admit it. I mean, there's so many mechanical parts you have to change on a gasoline engine. My God, there's cooling, radiator, there's fans, there's alternators, there, there's freaking sensors, there's the transmission, exhaust system, muffler, brakes, differential, rear axle, driving. Yeah. It never crazy. ends! It's crazy. it's crazy. It's crazy. All that to make a vehicle move. And a diesel motor is even more complex and therefore costs more to fix. So... So, yeah, I guess I have to say, I guess because I'm trying to be a more positive person ever, ever since I was hypnotized a couple of years ago in Lennoxville. <laughs> and just look at that old Coke stuff. Isn't that beautiful? Old depth. That's my kind of, yeah. it's my kind of photographic interest. Yeah, well, you could always go back, but it's not a very nice day. It'll probably be there tomorrow or for a long time anyway. Well, it's been, already been there for a long time, so it's probably all right. Yeah. Now I'm, now now I'm electric. Gotta, now now you're gonna, electric. Now you're so. going to make a left. I can't make a left here. It's a one way. What? South. Oh, okay. Left at Vio, sorry. Or if you want, you could go all the way in. You're not going to see any tracks, but at the end of the street, that's where that pretty much an ex CN yard is. It's not ex CN. I think it still belongs to CN. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing in there. It's just a bunch of track with weeds. It's, it's, yeah, it's, 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 people it's, are it's stoners, disused, but it still belongs to CN. People walking their dogs along the side. I did. I did. Uh, I did actually film like a mint condition on the court 
You probably saw the video. It was a route in 1990 brown, kind of that cinnamon brown. Yeah, I saw it. We talked about it. It's Which, of course, good. reminds me of the hit by Neil Young. I wanna live with a cinnamon girl. Of course, it feels weird singing this. I feel like you should be riding in the in Simon's Delta 88. Well, it doesn't, it doesn't it, fit the car. Of course, no. it doesn't have it anymore. But it did sell it to his friend, so she still exists, and that means a lot to me. Because I'm sure my dad's car probably lasted 10 years. I didn't ask him about it. He's about how, how the old, the other owners. His, his friend is well, considering on with it. Considering you put out money into it, oh, I should have had to turn here. That's the municipal garage. I could have went to see what was there. Yeah, make a U-turn. Or if you want to look around, uh, you don't have to. Look, there's some old World War II era built houses, yeah, which I found out they were not all built for, for uh, soldiers, by the way. Yeah, this is the municipal garage. They were fixed almost all the, the Montreal fire trucks and all the type of fleet vehicles. Mm -hmm. Uh, police, I don't think so. I don't think you want to make a right here on uh, uh I should have told me, like, oh, yeah, never mind. no, no, never mind. We're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna go by the big O, we're gonna think of the tourist way on a rainy day. So, you know, that uh, Nick's uh, expedition, you know, is a 2010, it's pretty, it's pretty sophisticated because it has actually that that uh satellite tracking system screen, well, <laughs> but it's well, funny, it looks more like a video game, yeah. you know, like. Oh, this is this is not the regular entertainment. This is Apple CarPlay. This is, this is being projected from my phone. But if I press this, that's the entertainment for the, for the, that's built into the car. But I live in Apple CarPlay. It's kind of it's funny nice. to see that Saint Sebastian oh. car, the Saint Sebastian delivery car, go by because I went to Chalet with with Grant, and earlier we were on Coudinage Boulevard near Queen Mary. There's a there's a Saint Sebastian there, and he's like, oh, Saint Sebastian, like he's not kind of interested. I'm like. I'm like no, I got a better so idea. Let's expensive. go to let's go to Chalet. So it was too expensive though. I leg with fries with sauce and bun. Jesus Christ! Like ten years or more, fifteen years ago or more, 10, 20 years ago, when I started ordering, there was like ten bucks. Now it's like with the tip, twenty bucks. But compared to Saint Sebastian, it's still a lot cheaper and it's still better. Well, what? Well, well, that's why I wasn't too surprised. I was kind of surprised actually when I heard in the news that Saint Sebastian was freezing their prices and they made headlines and that they're actually going to reduce prices. Man, people were complaining about that so much when I used to work for them in customer service. Yeah, but how much are they actually going to reduce the price? How much of it is it just a marketing play? Because they're corporate. They're very corporate. I got an idea. And I heard you, by the way. You will make a right, as I mentioned on Sherbrooke. You're going to make a right, mister. Okay, sir. And then we're going to float on down eastward on beautiful, that last beautiful part of <laughs> the last beautiful part of Sherbrooke, basically, up until L'Assomption. Assomption. And then you're going to stop at the freaking Timmy's that's uh, at, uh, near uh, the Cadillac uh, metro station. Yes, sir. Yeah. There's the... See, it's funny how I decided to do this now and not like later. Because sometimes I like that. A lot of times I walk along and I'm like, I don't want to do walking anymore. There's the uh, biodome, I believe. The biodome. Look at this weirdness with this whole hatch here. God almighty, it reminds me of the DeLorean from the side windows or the friggin' Subaru SVX, what, which I saw on the back of my car, you mean? Yeah, yeah. No, it's, a, it's, a, it's what they call a lift back. So it's a hatchback, but it's more of a sedan profile. Not pioneered by, but also shared with the this car's competitor, the Toyota Prius. <laughs> the Prius. Here, I got another one for you guys. Ooh, I hear laughter in the rain. Walking hand in hand with the one I love. Yeah, Neil Sedaka, that was like his last hit. God, I'm like a boomer, hey? Crazy. Whoa! That was exciting there. Whoa, you're really, you you I rebel. Sport mode. <laughs> Told you this car had a sport mode. Oh, okay, so sport mode is basically overdrive. Oh, not necessarily overdrive, but it just means a higher throttle, higher throttle response. Yeah, you can, you can actually shift the transmission. It, it almost, transition. you almost did a burnout there. That's exciting. Yeah, it, this car can actually do front wheel burnouts. I've, I've seen reviews of it where a guy mashes it and you just hear the front tire go. Because you, know, you know people are obsessed with burnouts, right? Uh, now you guys, you've seen all my videos. You've been loyal a long time. I know there's a number of you. Look at the beautiful foliage. You know what I'm going to say right now? Yep. That's where my grandparents lived uh, for happily for 25 years between 1980 and 2005. The village Olympic. Village constructed for the 1976 Olympic Games for the participants. Look at this. Uh, was it a juke? No. Toyota. Uh, Look at that. It used to be the the Tiki Garden. Yeah. Went to a car show there once. It was the only time I went there. All in there was like bamboo tiki. Tiki tiki tiki. tiki. It reminds me of a song actually by Donovan. That's his name. That's the name of the song. It's like Tiki something. Tiki tiki. 
Say, take it, take it, take it, run, ding, no, the name, the name, the name, the name, the name. What was that? It's the engine down shift. Holy mackerel. Not bad for a, a, a little four cylinder. I thought it came. Well, what's the horsepower in this thing? You never told uh, me. Combined 155? What do you mean combined? With the electric motor and the, and the gas engine combined. It's so, how much is one or the other? Uh, eh? Gas eh? engine's 139, and the. No, it's less. It's 100 and. It's actually closer to 100 horsepower, and the, the, the electric motor is uh, like 60. But when you combine horsepower between a gas and, and electric motors, it, it's not like you add them together. It's like there's like a something that happens like there's a power loss in between them and it's actually less than the combined like if you take one plus the other for whatever reason i anyway, actually don't uh, know why that is you will uh, have to move again here quick eventually to your right anyway you'll see the timmy sign i'm sure because you'll see it before me that's for sure which will that's why it'll never let me drive not whatever i'm just happy to be with my buddy and driving around that because again i'm not even wearing shoes for this anymore i mean the shoes i bought are very comfortable Got a good price on winners. No, they're not. They're not weatherproof because your feet breathe, right? The materials, so <laughs> they get wet like really easily. Like so, I would have gone out anyway, but uh, you know, Ben's off today because it's Thanksgiving. It's oh, sorry. my vacation. Yeah, Excuse Ben's me. vacation. Ben's vacation. Pardon my French. And of course, it's, Jesus, I was told you how it gets real crappity it's still bad after last after last song. You know, this is like Notre Dame, bro. Uh, I was trying to say today is a thanks Canadian Thanksgiving, so I guess uh, give thanks. Uh, all you, my fellow Canadians, oh, what am I talking? You're not going to be watching this today, man. Like, I find the ride much more it. compliant than my old car. Man, that was totally intentional, eh? That they totally redid that part in the tourist area. Mm. This or this area is like, yeah, well, this is the ghetto. So, and look, look, Dodge Avenger. The car for people who have given up on cars. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, I, I've been, I've been watching a lot of RCR. Right? I was just uh, watching his latest with that Lincoln uh, LSC Mark Seven there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the, know, the, I, the, I filmed one. I filmed one a few months ago, uh, not far from near uh, uh, Delormier, and actually it's for sale. But the guy, whoever owned this, somebody had painted all the black, the chrome black. So it's alright because the car is black, it looks cool, but it's like, oh, murder. 492. 492 spare. spare. Yeah, yeah, that's Spy. an old, that's like a 2004 that one. Maybe we'll see something today. I don't know. Yesterday I got lucky with Station 41. I just got the fire station 41, and bada bing, they get the door start open. Couldn't believe it. All the local <laughs> ethnic folks are sitting, uh, you know, outside there on the benches, the firemen, which was funny because a lot of people don't sit on those benches. They probably think they're only for the freaking firemen. But I pay taxes, damn it. I pay for that shiz and, and you know what's with the Toyotas now from the side that look pretty much exactly like a GMC no no but you know what I'm talking about there's a Toyota now the side of it I swear to God it looks like a Chevy or GMC they're in cahoots bro do you know that in the mid 90s they sold a freaking Cavalier in Japan I swear to God really yeah <laughs> it was a Toyota, as a Toyota product I think so but it was a Chevy Cavalier. Well, it's, it's like the Geo, was it the Geo Prism? Was I mean, that Toyota Corolla? I mean, especially now, like how the Japanese, look at all the cars here. <laughs> you would never think ever that, you know, like the only time American cars are marketed successful was even basically after they dropped the bomb in Hiroshima and up until the 60s when they had those gas prices. There were there were several cars where Plymouths and Chevys and Fords and occasional Cadillacs and Chryslers and stuff. And I'm going to stop this video here. So I may or may not, probably won't continue, but uh, I don't know. We'll see. Chinque. <laughs>